Hey, Free Sales Collective, it's your host, James Kakis. And today I'm going to be joined by Shauna James, Community and Events Manager at the Pre Sales Collective. The topic of today's episode is building community. Shauna joined Pre Sales Collective in early 2022 and has hit the ground running. She's got a background in community and no background in pre sales but she has really risen to the occasion and learned so much about this incredible profession. And so Shauna has been doing so much since joining the Pre-Sales Collective with our programs and our events. So I'm very excited to bring her on the podcast today to talk about her experience in community building and really what drives her. What is community building to her and how does it manifest in her day to day? You're really going to enjoy Shauna's perspective. For me as a co-founder of the Pre-Sales Collective, I love bringing our employees to the podcast so you can learn more about them and their impact on the community. Shauna has been no stranger to impact. She's been doing so much around here and challenging our thinking around what great looks like from the community perspective. Enjoy. Today's episode is sponsored by Reprise, the leading demo creation platform. With Reprise, your pre-sales teams create, present, and share product demos perfectly customized for each step of your sales motion. Go to reprise.com slash starter to try it for free today. Hi there, my name is Yuji Higashi, co-founder of Presales Collective, and I have big news to share with you if you're a pre-sales leader or an individual contributor early in your career. We recently launched two training and enablement programs aimed at helping you take your career to the next level. Both programs were created by pre-sales leaders with input from dozens of SC veterans across our community. Now we'll be running cohorts each month, so if you're interested in participating, visit us at presalescollective.com slash enablement to submit an inquiry, and we'll send you details about each program, including this curriculum and schedule. We look forward to working with you on growing your career and being part of your career journey. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon. Hey, Shauna, welcome to the Pre-Sales Podcast. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you, James. How are you? I am so excited to have you on the podcast. It is about time to have you on the Pre-Sales Podcast. We obviously talk on a daily basis. You have been the face of many of our events recently. You've been on the local events as well. You've been helping lead the programs. So I'm excited for the community to get to know you at a deeper level on today's episode. Yeah, absolutely. I am thrilled to be here and grateful for your time today. Before we get into it, you know, you've really hit the ground running. You joined us in January, 2022. And, you know, one of the things that you were really focused on is the events and you actually ran the leadership symposium this year. So what was that experience like? So I have a background in events. I actually used to run events on a 137 acre organic farm in upstate New York. That is a story for a different time. But when I was thinking about the leadership symposium, one of the things that was really important to me was elevating the VIP experience for our PSLC community. One of the amazing things about having a private or more gated community is that you really have a chance to really show all your stops when making sure that the community has what they need. And so the Leadership Symposium was really an opportunity for us to take stock and further understand what this group of people need. And what we came to understand is that our leaders are sort of split into two groups. There's the frontline managers, and then there are the executives and VPs. And the kind of content that both of these groups want and need are actually quite different, but it's great to have them all in one room. And so in putting this event together, we really thought about creative ways in which we could have overall keynotes and thematic material that would be helpful to all parties, but then also have tracks for both parties to really engage in thought leadership around things that are specific to what they're thinking about. And so that was really exciting for me as an events person to think creatively about how do you give people some of the same and some of the things that are different. And the response was really wonderful. So it's nice to see those things come together and be successful. So well said. And I just want to thank you for running such a fantastic event. I've been no stranger to saying this is what should we do for the leadership symposium this year? And we are going to originally take much of the approach we took last year. And you really challenged us to think differently and think bigger. And I thought the event was fantastic and you did such an amazing job. So you should be incredibly proud of yourself. I know that I'm proud of you. And then so is the rest of the team and the community. So thanks for putting that event on. Absolutely. Shauna, you mentioned some fun experience that you have, and I know about your background, but you do not have a pre-sales background. So let's talk about your career journey. What got you to where you are today? Well, if you have 500 hours, I could go into depth, but I'll try to keep it brief. 
So I actually used to be an actor. That's what I went to college for. I thought I wanted to be on the big stage. And once I got to school, I realized that I was actually more interested in the back end of theatrical performance and the more producer director role in the admin side. And so that admin work really started to make me think about creative ways in which I can get involved in creative projects, but be more hands-on and really have oversight and bird's eye view of projects. I started organizing with community uh, for the March for Our Lives Boston movement. And I went to school in Boston. That was my first experience with community. As I look back and reflect on my career, it was the amalgamation of having all of this admin experience and, you know, creating amazing projects for theater and starting working in community that has actually led me to where I am today. So I was working in arts administration before I joined the pre-sales collective. I did mention I had a brief stint where I was working on a 137 acre organic farm, running events, managing the community supported agriculture program for our surrounding community, which was again, an area where I felt like I was doing this sort of admin work and community work, which has led me to where I am today. When you reached out to me about the pre-sales collective, I had never heard of pre-sales and I almost ignored the message because I saw the word sales and I was like, absolutely not. This is not for me. You have the wrong girl. I literally used to tap dance in front of people. I am not the person to come and lead your community. But I was interested in transitioning into tech at the time. And so after our first conversation, one of the things I realized is that pre-sales professionals and actors and theater people actually have a ton in common. Not only are there a lot of people who come from an arts background who are pre-sales professionals, but the kind of work that that pre-sales professionals are doing, demoing, performing in front of people. There are so many synergies. And when I was thinking about what is the best technology-based community to transition into, I actually cannot think of a better community to have transitioned into than the pre-sales collective. I feel so at home with these people. I feel so at home with this community. And I'm so amazed at the ways in which my previous experience has filled in for the work that I'm doing now. I love that and really appreciate you breaking that down because you are a perfect fit from day one. And it's so funny that you talk about being an actor and some of the similarities to pre-sales professionals. I say it to this day, like some of the musicians and actors that I've hired in my career have been the best pre-sales professionals that I've ever worked with. So I know you've definitely clicked with the community and I think it's very clear. Shauna, I want to get into today's episode of building community because I know that this is a subject you're very passionate about and you're really great at. Your perspective here is really incredible. And I think it's allowed Pre-Sales Collective to continue to evolve and grow and advance as a community. Let's just start with the why. Let's just start from the beginning. Why is community so important to you, Shauna? So I think a lot of people, when they first think of community, they think about the group of people or the village that maybe they surround themselves with that help them on a day-to-day basis. This may be a religious community, an educational community, or just the group of friends that you hang out with most often. And that was my first interaction with community as well. I had the privilege of being a music teacher when I was in high school, and I had the surrounding group of my students and their parents. It really became a sort of community for me. And when I started to think about the ways in which community wants to apply to business models. One of the things that I love about it is it's that heartfelt bottom line that if you invest in people, they invest back in you. And that synergy and that cyclical way of thinking about community really tacks on beautifully to a business mindset. So what I love about the work I do as a community professional is it allows me to gather people together for a common purpose and also give them the resources to succeed in their careers. And that marriage is really important and fascinating to me. And it's why I love to do what I do. Do you have an experience in which you were a member of a community and you really found a lot of value? You found value and said, wow, this was an impactful experience. It was an experience that helped you grow or helped you learn. Could you maybe share that with us? Yeah, absolutely. So when I decided to make the transition into tech, there's a lot of communities for community managers out there. And I was invited into some of those to learn about what being a community professional inside of the tech industry could look like. And when I joined it, I had no idea what I was doing. I had never attended an event. No one had ever talked to me about SaaS or business models or KPIs. Those words were completely foreign to me. And so I entered into this space looking for resources and people. And I found those in such an impactful way. And I'll just shout out the Community Club and CMX with Bevy for really opening their arms to me. And when I raised my hand to say, I have a question about community, they were really quick to answer. 
And I think one of the things that was so impactful about joining this community is that the nervousness and the sort of anxiety I felt about being, oh, what if I'm the only one here that has never heard of these things? Am I going to sound silly for asking this question? Was met with so much positivity and grace that when I started working at the Pre-Sales Collective, that has been one of the ethoses I think would like to bring into this community that no matter if you have just learned about pre-sales, you've never heard about pre-sales, or you've been in pre-sales for 30 plus years, there is a place for you inside of this community to feel valued and heard and that there are resources for you. So that was an impactful experience for me. I really appreciate that you've been leaning into other communities and learning what best in breed community looks like. A lot of things that we talk about behind the scenes as an organization is how do we continue to build a world-class community? How can we make other communities look at us to say, hey, we want to do what the Pre-Sales Collective is doing. And I think that your example of being a member of Community Club, for example, really allows you to paint the picture for the Pre-Sales Collective and our own members. And I'm curious, Shauna, as someone who's been working for the Pre-Sales Collective and with the Pre-Sales Collective community for a little over seven months now, has there been an experience that you had within the Pre-Sales Collective that really resonated with you, that gave you that feeling of comfort and finding folks that are very similar to you? Yes. And I will actually share two. The first is when I started to do community chats when I first joined. So as a community manager, it's super important to me that I am not living inside of a bubble of my own head, but I'm actually engaging with the community on a daily basis. And when I first joined, I had a series of calls with community members who ranged from people who had just joined, for people who have been in the community since its inception. And I wanted to talk to them about what is exciting to you? What do we need to work on? What are things that you're missing from our community? And I had a conversation with Hannah Bloking and Allison Makalek. They were about to start working on our imposter syndrome workshop in March. And I was talking to them and I always lead with, I have no background in pre-sales. So if I say something that counts, sounds kind of funny, please correct me because I don't really know what I'm talking about. And Hannah mentioned that she had a background in dance. She literally went to college for dance. And now she is a senior level at Amazon doing amazing things in pre-sales. And I was floored. I mean, I feel like I almost started crying because I was like, no way that there's someone else who like has been inside of a theater and knows what stage right and stage left is. And it was the first time I think I took a deep breath and I was like, I think I'm going to be okay in this community because it's not only that people have a similar background to me, they understand the transition and the hunger and the want to learn and starting new someplace else. I love that. What's the second story? The second story is about the world tour. We were on tour in the spring and I will humbly say that I have never traveled for work before. So we were on the road and we were certainly around town. And I was of course, super giddy to be out and meeting our community members. But you know, my experience with events in the past, oftentimes I am the one running the show. I'm really in the background. I'm, you know, helping make sure that cups look great and tablecloths are nice and everyone has their name tag. You and I actually had a conversation at the Austin event where you noticed I was taking things and I was putting them in a place. And you said, well, have you talked to anyone in the community yet? I said, oh, you know, like, it's okay. Like, I'll let you guys do that. And you were so taken aback. And you said, Shauna, this event is for you. You've done the work. This event is for you. And that really dramatically changed the way I thought about event production inside of the community space. And after that event, I'm glad it was the first event because I got to so radically enjoy the rest of our tour by meeting our community members and spending my time instead of making sure a tablecloth was straight, making sure that everyone was meeting who they needed to meet or that I could talk to someone. Oh my gosh, we've been talking in Slack for so long. It's so nice to finally meet you in person. How's that job going? How's your baby doing? Is everything going okay with your job transition? You know, asking the questions that I really love to ask and being around the people who I really love to support. I got to say, thanks for that. One, I love both those examples, but it makes me happy that you got to enjoy and lean into the community because that's really what this whole thing is about. And a big shout out to Kevin and the rest of the team because I feel like we really worked together on these events to make sure that one person wasn't taking on all the load. We had people working the doors, working the events, and it was a lot of fun. You said we traveled a lot, but it was really fun. And I'll just double down on that a little bit for the folks that are listening who are a member of our community. 
I want to be so clear that there is not one person who is holding the responsibility of managing this community. Everyone who is on the PSC and PSA team is making sure that this community is running and making sure that you're having an amazing time. It really is a team effort, which is why I love working here. What is maybe one thing that surprised you around the pre-sales community? You know, I'll go back to my story about when we first started talking about pre-sales and you said I manage it company called Pre-Sales Collective. And I saw the word sales and I said, no way, Jose, that is not what's happening. You have the wrong girl. And I really had a bias and a perception about sales. I thought about a sales community as being incredibly competitive and it was going to be a place for people to come in. And I was going to be managing a lot of personalities and managing a lot of people who were trying to get and they didn't want to give it all, which didn't sound like a role for me. And once we talked more about how the pre-sales role fits into the sales cycle, obviously that tampered some of that anxiety. But once I joined the community, pre-sales people are the nicest people I have ever met in my life. And that is not a hyperbole. I really mean that because the entire job is about empathetic awareness and being a beacon of support for a process that is beyond you. It's having this further self that is so in line with my ideologies as a person. And so coming into this community, I was so afraid that I was going to be meeting folks that wanted something and didn't want to give, but there is almost an abundance of generosity in the pre-sales collective. The amount of people that are suggesting topics, wanting to write blogs. And don't stop. Please continue to give it to us. We have a lot of space for it. But I was overwhelmed by the level of generosity that folks had, not only for me and my role, but for helping create an amazing community. And that's a great example, Shauna, because not to get on a hot button, but I have a lot of conversations about the title of this profession, right? And I kind of go toe to toe with people when they say sales engineering is the right term, because just like you said, even to get into the community, you see a term like sales and it's a blocker. And even if you look at engineering, it's a blocker as well. So that is why we take such a proactive approach as a community on what the title of this profession should be, because it's not necessarily about your day to day with your customer, but how do we bring more people into this amazing job that we say is the best job no one's ever heard of. And when you have words like sales and engineering that are natural deterrence, it actually can push people away. So that's your own example of trying to break in. And once you break in, you realize, wow, these people are so collaborative. They're so nice. They're so willing to give. And I think that's what makes community so special. As we think about community and what makes the Pre-Sales Collective a special community, how are you driving a sense of community within Pre-Sales Collective? I think that there's two different types of communities, mainly. There's a community of product and there's a community of interest. Pre-Sales Collective is a community of interest. People are coming together around a common interest and purpose to gather together. And one of the things that's really amazing about a community of interest is that the community will tell you very quickly what they want and where they want it because they are interested in the subject. And so my job is really to be a sort of sponge and constantly be searching and sifting through our community spaces like our Slack and our member hub and our feedback forms to make sure that I am listening to what the community is saying and responding in fold. We have a multi-tiered community approach here, which means that there's a lot of different ways to engage in our community. It is the Slack, it is events, it's our blog, it's our resources, it's our enablement programs, it's PSA. And I think that that pie chart creates a kind of community where you can pick and choose your own adventure inside of the space. It's not my job to dictate for all pre-sales professionals what you need in order to be a great pre-sales professional. It's my job as the manager of a community to create a space where the individual has a chance to thrive. And so that multi-tiered community approach is really essential in creating a thriving community and making sure that each tier of the community is equally as robust and built out as the last. I'm really happy you brought that up, Shauna. This is one of the things that I think we as an internal team have talked about a lot. What should we be? What shouldn't we be? What should our programs be? And what shouldn't our programs be? And I think A lot of my hypothesis is that we are the first real community for this profession. And so I kind of want to try to be everything to everyone and go as wide as possible while we're helping build an ecosystem. But you're right, because there's so many different ways to engage that sometimes it could be overwhelming. So we want to focus on how do we make sure that people are aware of the mediums that we have and can find the most value? Because I can't tell you the number of people who've reached out to me and say, I love your podcast. I'm like, well, are you on the Slack or are you in the member hub? And they're like, I didn't know that those existed. So sometimes it could be a double-edged sort of community. I don't know if you have an opinion on that as Pre-Sales Collective continues to grow. 
like I said, in a multi-tiered community approach, it's essential that each of the wings of the community is built out as the last. I think also the profession is changing dramatically as we speak. Our job is to also stay on the pulse of those changes. And maybe at a certain point, one of those tiers will no longer be germane to the needs of the community. And if that shows up, in an overwhelming way, it's our job to be flexible and malleable in there. So I really see the PSE continuing to grow rapidly. And it's our job to just keep our finger on the pulse of where that growth wants to go and pay attention to the community members who are raising their voices. 100%. And you said this earlier, we don't want to be in a vacuum or we don't want to be in la-la land. I joke about pre-sales la-la land, but we're behind the scenes trying to take what members want. It's all about listening to the members and having them let us know what they want. And I think that's been the genesis of a lot that's happened in the last two and a half years. Even our Elevate program and our Foundations program and our Career Launch program, those are the things that we heard from the community and we said, hey, can we take this on and can we support? And I think that's the best way to operate a community-centered model. I agree. Shauna, since you've come on board, you've just done so much. One of the most important things you've spent your time on are some of our programs, our WISE, our DEI, our Ambassador, PSLC Council, and others. Can you talk to me about your vision as it relates to pre-sales collective programs? So as I mentioned before, the multi-tiered community approach, you have to have something for everyone, but also have something for everything that the organization needs and wants. PSC has a really strong DE&I focus. And for us, what that means is that from everything that we do from tip to tail, diversity, equity, equality, and inclusion is in the fabric of what we're doing. The goal with the DE&I program is to make sure that folks who are interested and passionate about these subjects have a place to put themselves. With our WISE programs and our ambassador programs and our PSLC council, it's really about the leadership around areas in which our industry really needs to grow. I'd even put DE&I under that as well. My vision for all of these programs is that anyone who wants to participate in these programs can, and that we are placing people inside of leadership roles when they have the passion for furthering the field with the same sort of vigor that we do. One of the things I love about a volunteer-based community is that you have a lot of folks who have different ways of engaging. And one of the things I sort of consider it like a puzzle, you know, I have to figure out what I'm offering so that folks want to engage with it. And so our ambassador programs is a really great example of that. These are folks that came from our local chapter program who are leaders in their communities, and now they're working with us in an ambassador capacity. And as we continue to grow this program, I'm really excited about finding ways in which we can continue to elevate people who wear the pre-sales badge on their sleeve and want to show it off to the world. That's a really exciting place to be in. And so my job for all of these programs is to make sure that we are creating a healthy and stable foundation for folks to rise and that when they want to switch roles or start doing something else, they have the capacity to do that. Thank you for that response, Shauna. I really appreciate that. For those who maybe want to get involved or want to contribute, how should they do that? On our website, presalescollective.com slash contribute, that'll show you a couple ways that you can contribute. We have an amazing local event program where if you want to try to create the Spring World Tour yourself, you can host your own local event in your community. These are much more casual, unsponsored events, but we know that folks really like to gather together and start to network with one another. And so we give you the tools and resources, you set up the event, and you get to host it yourself. We also have the option to suggest a topic for one of our webinars. You can also submit for blog posts as well. All of those are great ways to contribute. If you're not seeing something that you're interested in engaging in, the best way to get engaged in that case is to send me a message. I'm on Slack. I'm on email. I want to hear from our community to know what they're looking for. I had a great conversation with a community member the other day who had just hosted a local event and he offered a suggestion for how we prepare these local events. And he was saying, you know, it would be great if I could have like a one sheet, you know, where it told me everything I needed to do. And that was such incredible feedback. And I wouldn't have thought of that on my own. And so I really value what our community has to say. And I want to give that back to them. I appreciate you making the one sheet. It's definitely a perfect example of taking feedback from the community and incorporating in. Again, I really love your vision and your thoughts around community. Since you've come on board, you've just done so much. You've made such a great and fantastic impact on the pre-sales community. I'm curious, if we were to fast forward one year from now, what does the pre-sales collective look like? It looks a lot like what we're doing now, except there are more people and there are more resources, 
And our community continues to be a community-led community. I am interested in a world where my job is solely focused on cheerleading the people who are doing the amazing work and that it is a self-generating machine. My vision for pre-sales collective in a year, five years, 10 years, is that no pre-sales professional goes untouched or engaged with that there are so many in the world and that it's my job to make sure that they are all present in our community and that there is something for them. Mic drop, Shauna James. I would love to end on that question because that was so well said, but we have to end with maybe one advice question. There are people that have been lightly engaged in the community or keep saying, hey, you know, I've been meaning to get involved. I just haven't yet. When they do, they're always like, I'm so glad I finally got engaged. What advice do you have for those people that are maybe lightly engaged or medium engaged, but want to get more engaged to find more value out of the pre-sales collective? You know, I think there's a lot of pressure that folks put on themselves when they join a community that they want to be able to show up as the version of themselves that is the most engaged or they're doing the most or they're posting the most. And I actually would just say to dip your toe in. The water's warm. There's a lot for you. Think about your bliss. What are you excited about learning? What do you want to learn more about? Who are you interested in talking to? And start there. You can't get the whole community in one day, one week, even one year. So start small. Think about reading a blog. Think about coming to a webinar and see what it does for you. And if it doesn't fuel you, find something else. There are so many ways to engage in our community. If it's not the Slack, if it's not our resources, if it's not our blog, if it's not our enablement program, if it's not the pre-sales academy, if it's not fill in the blank of all the other things that we do here, local events, ambassador programs, being on the wise council. There's so much going on. Let us come to you and you choose what works best for you. So follow your bliss, dip your toe in. The water is very warm. Shauna James, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast today. I say it all the time, but thank you so much for all that you do for the pre-sales community and everything that you do to make this experience better for everyone. We really appreciate it. We're glad to have you on the team. Thank you so much, James. Happy to be here. All right, pre-sales collective. Always fun hearing Shauna's perspective. Shauna has been incredible since joining the pre-sales collective, not only behind the scenes with our programs and our events, but she's been leading and hosting webinars, single day conferences, multi-day conferences, really incredible work since joining the pre-sales collective. And I really appreciate her concept of community. She takes a step back to walk us through how community manifested in her life and really her own examples of being a community member in other communities and how that really brings the ethos into everything that we do and everything that she does as our community and events manager. And one of my favorite things that she talked about today was how open and collaborative and kind pre-sales professionals are. You know, it could be a daunting experience entering into a community or a profession without any experience. Sean has really learned and leaned into what it means to be a pre-sales professional. And you could hear the passion in her voice that she feels like she found a group of people who really understand her and she understands them. And that's what we are trying to continue to drive with the Pre-Sales Collective. And you heard Sean, we'll continue to be a community led by the community where we are taking the ideas, the learnings, the best practices from the people that are in the role and bringing them to life. We've created that platform with the Pre-Sales Collective. And so our goal and Shauna's goal and mission are to give you a stage to allow you to contribute. And if you don't want to contribute and you just want to absorb and learn and invest in your personal and professional development, Shauna is leading those programs as well. So Pre-Sales Collective members, I hope you found today's episode impactful. Reach out to Shauna, say hello, introduce yourself, give her some advice, give her some feedback, or just Tell her that she's doing a great job. We would appreciate that. All right, Pre-Sales Collective, thank you so much for tuning in today. Your support means so much. Don't forget to log into our member hub to stay up to date on all the latest webinars, workshops, blogs, and other content around the community. I also hope you'll make time to connect with your fellow solutions professionals through our connections platform or in our Slack community. As always, I'll see you around the community and I'll see you next week.